Hello everybody and welcome to the last follow along exercise in this section. In this exercise we are going to draw waves on the ocean water and we're also going to draw the reflection of the sun on the waves. So let's get started. First I'm going to draw, uh, first I'm going to select the ocean and I'm going to add a new filter and I'm going to name it waves. Let's add a turbulent effect and I want to have some waves which are elongated in the x-direction so I'm going to decouple the x and the y base frequency and I'm going to set the x frequency to be 0, 0,015 and I'm going to set the y frequency to be 0, 0,06 I'm also going to set the octaves to 10. Next I'm going to add some diffuse lighting. Remember that in the case of diffuse lighting we want the alpha channel to act as a height map. So we're going to use the alpha channel of the turbulence to act as a height map for our water. We're going to pick a diffuse color and we're going to use the eyedropper to pick the orange of the sun. We're going to leave the surface scale as is as well as the light intensity. We're just going to set the light source to distant light. Now we've got light coming in from the right, but we see that in the picture the sun is at the back. So we would rather have the light coming in from the back. In order to achieve this I'm going to set the azimuth angle to not 0 degrees, not 90 degrees, not 180 degrees, but 270 degrees. And there we have it. We also have to change the filter general settings. We don't want uh, the filter to make the C any larger. So let's change these coordinates to 0 and 0 and the height should be 100% of the original height and the width should also be 100% of the original width. Now when I change these filter general settings I see that there's a glitch in the rendering. In order to modify that I'm going to press Ctrl and 5 on the numpad to change to normal no filters view and then to press Ctrl, 5, Ctrl and 5 on the numpad again to change to the outline view and then to change back to the filters view. So we see that we've lost our blue color to our ocean. Uh, we don't want that. So we're going to use blend to combine the diffuse lighting with the original blue of the ocean. I'm going to add the effect blend and I want as first input to be the original ocean water color and as second input I want the diffuse lighting. So in other words I want the diffuse lighting laid on top of the source graphic. The mode I don't want it to be normal but I want it to be lightened. So the diffuse output from diffuse lighting is lightening the water from the, the ocean water. Let's save it. As a next step we are going to simulate the specular reflection on the waves. In order to do that we are going to apply a custom filter on this object here. 
let's start by adding a new custom filter and naming it specular reflection now what we want to do is take the background and all the parts that are not blue we want to convert it to a tra transparency and all the parts that are blue we want them to remain opaque this is in order to create a height map remember that the height map is made up of an alpha channel so let's select this object and let's apply the specular reflection and add a color matrix as input for our color matrix we want this background image so i'm going to click and drag from here to background image don't forget that if you want to use this background image as input you have to add a tag to the file enable background equals new so how do i modify this a color matrix i want to remove all the red from the background So I make the first row completely zero. I also want to remove all the green from the background. So I make the second row completely zero. And the amount of blue in the background I want to keep. So I don't modify this row. Now is the row which determines the alpha channel the alpha channel represents the opacity of the image so where the alpha is high we have more opaque and we want to reduce the opacity at the parts where the image is not blue at the part in other words in the parts where the red component is high and where the green component is high so the red component where there's a red component i want to reduce the opacity by half of the red intensity and where there's a uh, green component i also want to induce reduce the opacity by half of the green intensity blue i want to keep as is and alpha i keep on one because i don't want the parts which are opaque now to become transparent i want the parts which are opaque to stay opaque Next, I add specular lighting. As a color, I'm going to select orange and I'm going to use the eyedropper again to select this orange color. When it comes to surface scale, I want to set it to maximum. When it one comes to the strength of the light i'm setting it to two and when it comes to exponent i'm setting it to 10. how did i come up with these parameters well i just fiddled with them until i found a result which i liked now light source i'm setting distant light and i want to set the azimuth to 270 degrees because the light is coming from here so i set it to 270 degrees
Next, I don't want this whole square to be filled up. I want only the original shape to have this fill. So I'm going to add a composite effect. And I'm going to use the result from the specular lighting as the first input and the source graphic as the second input and I'm going to use the in operator. Finally, I'm going to use the blur operator. And there we have the final picture. Thanks for following along. See you in the next exercise. Bye bye.